So we know that we can do something like this to copy multiple bytes at once. In this case, we are copying eight bytes at once because we are using Word, which uh, in this case is unsigned long, and unsigned long is eight bytes. But uh, what if we don't actually know the thing or the size of the thing we are dealing with? So let's say we're dealing with a C string where we don't actually know the size of the string, we are expected to call Sterling. So in that case, doesn't that mean that Sterling needs to check every byte for a null terminator? Because if we try to process 8 bytes at once, if we try to check 8 bytes at once, it will overflow, right? Well, why are we actually doing this in the first place? We know that the CPU don't access data one byte at a time, but in chunks. And so as long as you're within that word boundary, it's okay that you are accessing memory that is uh, that you are not supposed to access. So in the case of glibc malloc, it will always return memory that is aligned to 2 times size t. So let's say size t, uh, 2 times size t is 16. So if we request uh, I don't know. If we request 59, 59 is not aligned to 16, so it's gonna allocate more memory to make it aligned to 16. Now, I don't actually know if the compiler does the same, but the glibc source code seems to imply that uh, it's always aligned. Now, how do we know that we are aligned? so that we know that we're actually within that word boundary so that we can access eight bytes, you know, it's safe, right? Well, we can check the address of uh, the thing. So say let's print uh, what's wrong here? Let's print print D so from the address, uh, we can check if the address is aligned to Word. If it is aligned, uh, then we can safely proceed. So we can you know, check eight bytes, right? Uh, but uh, since we're dealing with strings, uh, you know, this is the first element, right? Uh, say D plus one, uh, then maybe it's not aligned in which case we need to actually align it uh, how do you align it well uh, glibc offers uh, a macro align up which you can check in it's in ours oh, libc pointer arithmetic there are a lot of macros here uh, but uh, uh, I haven't actually looked at how this works, but uh, basically we are going to pass a uh, pointer, or I guess a number, right? Uh, it also works with numbers. And then we're going to uh, have the size of the alignment. So uh, let's say we want to align it to uh, size of word. Uh, and then we pass uh, the pointer here <coughs> and then it will result in a pointer that is uh, well in this case it's aligned down it's rounded down to align with the size of the alignment right in this case uh, uh, it says here that if we pass 1495 and the size of the alignment is 4096 it's gonna be around it to zero right it's gonna be aligned down and if we pass 1496 it's already aligned so you know it does nothing but if we have 1497 it's gonna be aligned down to 1496 right and once we have aligned the pointer then we can do our uh, thing, right? Then we can, you know, process our string or something. 
Uh, but uh, when we do that, we are probably going to access uh, some part of the string we don't actually want. So let's say we want to check if D has zero. Uh, and uh, where is it? Let's say D is aligned, right? And so it's aligned down where we may access some part of the string we don't actually want to access. So if we get a match here, uh, oh my gosh, word. So let's say we have found a zero in D um, and we are returning where uh, we have found a D so you probably have some you know pointer pointing to the start of the string so we can do if you know it is within the string uh, result you know if this is true then you know it's probably uh, good right but otherwise we have not actually found a zero also another important thing you probably need to know is that when you're trying to do things like this you're probably going to need to always align stuff before doing anything. So since we are accessing eight bytes at once, and if a pointer is not aligned, the eight bytes that we are trying to access may exist in two different word boundaries. And uh, the architecture may not like that we are trying to access uh, all of them at once. Uh, we can only access uh, you know, eight bytes within a word boundary. So yeah, align your stuff, and uh, also don't forget the attribute may alias. So yeah, 